Hey there, everybody. Um, Maze Explorer is, has the extra screens finally coming into a decent shape, and so I wanted to showcase the gameplay as is. This will be a gameplay only video, and primarily for the Game Jolt audience. So, uh, you can see right here, here is the, uh, here's the title screen. It is not fancy. Uh, it, I do actually now have an icon, and this image is uh, put together from tiles the same as the icon. So let's go from here to the help screen. And I think blue is not probably not the best color to put in the back. We'll, I'll work through this. But it shows all the thingies and what all the thingies are. And escape to go back. Go to the option screen where I just went with different background colors for each screen because I didn't want the black. But so we can turn sounds on off, on off. And um, this allowing pause is uh, my hard car, hardcore core mode where once you're in the game, you are in the game until it is done and you can't pause the game and you can't go to help and you can't come, come to options so you can turn that on and off and then the difficulty change which is primarily um, the availability of certain certain power-ups in particular swords and hourglasses even though swords don't do anything yet but still that's one where I can vary the difficulty will change the uh, impact on there, so you're up to go to hard, down to easy, leave it at normal, and then uh, of course we can go in. And since we left the pause game on, we can do that, hit space bar, and we are paused. Space to unpause it, I can wait however many seconds, and we'll be back the same amount of time left. So 295, we pause. We wait a minute, not a minute, a couple seconds. And we unpause, still 295. So still works. And we can, at any point from here, go in and say, sounds off. And we can go back and look for something else. No sound. And we can go back in. something else to eat and sounds back um, I will change the pause game feature just to show you so I turn it off now but now I go back and that's me jamming on the space bar I cannot get out I also can't go to help can't go to options The restart button is now replaced with a quit, which takes me to the main menu. And I do that now. Q. And here we are. And that's a full tour. Now let's go through a uh, the options. We'll, we'll leave pausing on. And we'll go with the difficulty of normal. And let's see if we can get through a whole game. Most of the time, while I'm actually talking, I will run into traps. There are, I believe, five hourglasses in the uh, in normal. Oh, just like that. I might, I may just die. Pay attention, dude. Run it short on keys. Keys are. Sometimes I will get keys for days, starting out, and then sometimes I don't get keys until I've got half the map revealed. 
can we do it? It's mostly about finding hourglasses. Just like that. So that's cool. Because even with a number of hourglasses, it still takes me some time in order to... Uh, so it takes 10 minutes to explore the whole maze. Keys. Oh, oh, that was one where I wasn't really watching. And I'm not really quite sure why I'm... Collecting things that aren't treasures. Or keys for that matter. Okay, we got two keys. Let's unlock that guy. And let's unlock that guy. Need more keys. More time? More time means I can find more keys. Still no. Thanks. Well, you know, this door leads to that whole little area there. Key. Dink. Dink. Bloop. Yeah, I also looked into making volume controls and decided not to do it, at least in the current iteration of the game, where the sound is being controlled through uh, system.media.soundplayer, <coughs> because that's controlled by the global wave volume, and while there are ways to set the volume... It's a, a little ridiculous, and so I imagine at some point this will have to um, be ported to mono game in order to progress a little further with. Oh, I, got, I got keys here. All right, in order to progress further in uh, a decent rendering stack and better sound management, and uh, more importantly, to uh, allow for uh, controller support, which there's really no reason to not allow controller support. I do like that so far, oh, one, one, one heart left. Will I die? But controller support is one thing. There are ways to go about it without going to mono game. But it's there's direct input stuff. And while I'm I'm not afraid of direct input, I've used direct input in the past, back during my C days. It's not something I care to try and go through in order to in order to do it for this game. Let's let's be oh and I didn't make it. Oh well. I gave it a shot. I was I have one. I don't remember I don't even know how much time I had left. I'll have to go back and look. But in any case, that's a playthrough of the game as it currently exists. Basically I'm my my own worst enemy and going to hit the the black teeth. Uh, coming up soon is going to have to be uh, monsters, naturally, or creature, whatever you want to, enemies. And those will be guarding treasure, and that's going to be a pretty big thing coming up here. But so, uh, hey, thanks for, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.